a helmsman and the people's leader. Xi Jinping cements his power in China as he prepares for a virtual summit with Joe Biden. Well, let's stay in China and for a closer look, Dr. Lim Taiwei joins us. He is from the East Asian Institute at the National University of Singapore. Uh, Dr. Lim, uh, the resolution really glorifies the achievements of uh, Xi Jinping, but is it telling about what's been left out? I think uh, rather than uh, what has been left out, the significance really lies in what has been left in uh, the contents. Uh, Because if you look at the communique, Uh, Half of it is dedicated to uh, the uh, President Xi. He's actually mentioned uh, 17 times in the document. Uh, By comparison, uh, in similar uh, events in the past, uh, Mao uh, has only been mentioned seven times and Deng uh, Xiaoping uh, five times. And only uh, in the the history, in the centenary history, which lasts a a century uh, of the uh, party history, there has only been three occasions in which uh, there have been resolutions on major achievements of uh, leaders in the past. And so the fact uh, that he has been mentioned so many times and the fact that a large percentage of the communique document is dedicated to him, it shows that he has a very strong uh, confidence in his hold on power. And so this is very revealing as to uh, the uh, sort of uh, uh, power that he commands now within uh, the party and uh, the kind of a uh, respect. It may also show uh, that he's now very confident uh, in uh, no uh, sort of major factions or rivals uh, challenging him at the moment. And, and does it show then that a cult of personality is being built around the Chinese leader in the same vein perhaps as Mao Zedong? The construction of the uh, cult of uh, personality is perhaps a tradition within the party. Uh, it may be a long-standing tradition because if you look into the past, uh, the uh, Mao was uh, cast as the great uh, helmsman. Uh, Deng was cast as the uh, paramount leader. And now uh, Xi is cast as the core leader. And the fact that as the core leader, he has mentioned 17 times, it does follow the traditions uh, that has been laid down in the past uh, with the centralization of uh, imagery, symbolism, uh, surrounding the uh, the main leader of the party. Uh, and uh, b- bearing in mind that Northeast Asian uh, political culture tends to be a high context culture. So symbolism is very important in uh, sort of uh, cementing his uh, imagery within the minds uh, and uh, sort of the, uh, uh, the, the thoughts of the people. Uh, and so I think this uh, shows again that there is a very strong intentions that uh, of, of his uh, stay in power for uh, some time to come. Talk to us a bit about the impact on generations of, of Chinese, uh, given that many of them are growing up with Xi Jinping as uh, the leader. In a highly centralized uh, system, uh, some may say a liberal system, uh, this appears to be a systemic uh, feature. Uh, the uh, dissemination of uh, educational contents Uh, to uh, future generations of uh, the citizens uh, would help sort of uh, cement uh, the uh, leadership uh, status of the core leader in the minds of the people. Uh, But perhaps what is different uh, this time is the uh, availability of uh, technology uh, for uh, the ordinary, uh, for uh, for the uh, ideologues and also for the party officials in terms of disseminating uh, educational contents. Uh, digital archiving of information, uh, dissemination of uh, educational contents via digital means uh, may actually indicate uh, that uh, that could be uh, much more efficient and perhaps a a widespread uh, sort of uh, standardization of information. And this may make uh, the uh, sort of uh, uh, focus on the core leader in terms of uh, imagery and symbolism uh, much more complete and much more uh, effective. Thank you for your insight this evening, Dr. Lim Taiwei, Senior Research Fellow at the East Asian Institute at NUS.